concerning Nigeria. Farming is coming. I saw many, many, many people folding their companies and people, both father and mother, losing jobs at the prime, not even with... Concerning Nigeria. Farming. You know, you know, I'm not teaching. I'm just telling you what I heard. There's something called famine. It's coming. Now, there are three strategies that God gave that will help us escape this famine. He said, be strategic and prudent with resources. Trust God to venture into side businesses. Make sure you have a farm. I know you did. You, did. you were supposed to say amen at that point. Please help me preach that one to your neighbor. Make sure you have a farm. Number three, I send an alarm to all the intercessors in Nigeria. Listen to me. Satan wants to bring a siege upon Nigeria in the month of April. Listen again. Satan wants to bring a siege upon Nigeria in the month of April. So from the month of January, we'll begin to attack that siege. Month of February, we'll begin to attack that siege. Month of March, we'll begin to attack the siege. Because what I saw about that siege is that the siege can be deflected. We can deflect it. It is not something that cannot change. But if we do nothing about it, the siege will come. And when the siege comes, one state in Nigeria will be locked down. And if we do nothing after that, then there is a likelihood that that uprising that will lead to the lockdown of one state will affect many other states. It will further plunge our economy below the belt. If nothing is done, it will lead to an uprising that you and me don't want to see. We can set up our siege against the siege of Satan. The month of April will determine whether we are victorious or whether we have failed. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I, 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 as I respect God and I respect myself and I respect your trust for me. So if I stand here and I tell you things, especially I'm prophesying, I make sure that I know what I'm saying. I saw something about next year that will make you need this message. Because what I saw is going to be a time of turbulence and serious challenge for believers. I'm not a prophet of doom. My teaching grace is enough for me like that. I wasn't prophesying. But if I open my mouth and I tell you something, you just believe it. So don't ignore when you see God bring things like this. He's redeeming the future. There is something he has seen. You see that now? I saw many, many, many people folding their companies. And people, both father and mother, losing jobs at the prime, not even knowing what to do. PTA meetings happening and teachers are saying you cannot drive our children. Why don't you structure the payment? When I saw that in my heart, I said, God, what is the meaning of this? When God shows things like this, it's not to put fear. But he's showing it so that believers can be prepared. Now you have something on ground. God has shown you mercy. I wish I had the time I would have taught you on financial carelessness. There are people who are going to spend everything God gave them this December. And then suffer by January. Hear these servants of God. Don't. There is nowhere written in the Bible that if you don't eat cow and chicken, you will not commemorate the birth of Jesus. Live a modest and a decent life within your means. Are we together now? Remember the dream of Joseph. Seven years of plenty. Seven, if you have the money, fine. You, God bless you. But for many of us, who, especially those that the year has been rough, there is a mindset people have that once it is Christmas, burn everything you have, finish all the money, live a fake and a false life, carry your family and go around the world, and then return back and suffer. That's not a wise bargain. For someone, God is helping you to now begin to be frugal. Another thing I would have thought about is, is living a fake life. One of the major reasons, a fake life is very expensive. Write it down. A fake life is very expensive. It takes so much to fund a fake life. 
that once you start you must maintain it a fake life is very expensive if you are not there you are not there you can start gradually with the dignity of kingdom integrity a fake life is expensive don't try to buy a car that is not yet your level don't try to go and live in a house that is not yet your level you are living in a house that it, you, you are owing three years rent now you can't pay back it's a sign you are not yet there get out of that place and look for a decent place hallelujah there are some of us who do not yet have the means to start gathering people and celebrating elaborate birthdays elaborate occasions no be patient god is bringing you there even for schools as much as i would want you to educate your children at the highest level you must be wise and keep them within your budget find the best school that your budget can afford if your child is on scholarship that is fine otherwise find the budget the school that your budget can afford but by all means koinonia please hear me great disaster is going to befall many and there are many who will begin to turn the corridors of compromise because of this finance thing i shall not want it's not just a prophetic declaration it is a declaration that comes with responsibilities and the responsibility is learn all you can now that god has given you a good job don't waste your salary that is coming learn all you can about investments are we together now meet intelligent people with integrity who know what they are saying not people playing games all around playing games all around the internet deceiving and fooling people don't fall prey to some of these things seek counsel there are five kinds of investment you must make in your life number one is your spiritual investment number two investment in your mind let me give you this and then we'll wrap up five kinds of investment number one your spiritual investment when i talk of investments i'm not just talking of putting money your relationship with jesus is a potent investment that has returns even financial returns number two mental investments what you store in your mind is there you don't need to refrigerate it you don't need to warm it it is there and will always be ready to be delivered when needed number three invest in your health and your well-being it's an investment invest in your health and your well-being it's often said that people deteriorate their health to make money then they use the money they have made to now maintain their health that is now deteriorated don't be like that invest in your health and your wellness number four invest in strategic relationships relationships are an investment they bring returns mighty marvelous returns they bring returns i shared a story in ghana that i want to share as i wrap up a wealthy man had a son he had a son and this son lived a very careless and a riotous life and the man got sad and said I will never give you anything of my estate and he called the servant and he told the servant you have been a well behaved person I give you the liberty to choose anything you want to choose and the servant chose the estates chose the cars chose some of the businesses and chose everything and while he was choosing the man was touched with compassion and then he said are you It's a prey against regional crisis in Nigeria. Um, the other ones are too sensitive. We cannot say them online. The one about Africa, I can't say it online. So for RCN, he said we have been promoted. And the meaning of that is that there will be more grounds to cover, more kingdom resources to manage and to deploy, more souls to win, more disciples to raise. And I saw the trumpet sounding. And when I inquired, what exactly is the meaning of this trumpet? He called it the trumpet of an evangelist, sounding the alarm of the evangelistic message to give people the opportunity to give their life to Christ. So I know that there are heavy evangelistic campaigns that God wants us to begin to do. Because the harvest is plenteous, and we have adequate laborers to engage it. So we are going to blow the trumpet of the evangelistic message as we move from place to place. And uh, we are going to have a bias of emphasis 
our field of emphasis for our campaigns will be the north will be the north the lord is saying to us that there is a greater demand for intercession that have been allocated to us as a ministry and finally he says there is a major assignment he wants us to accomplish in the city of abuja there is a major assignment he wants us to accomplish in the city of abuja major assignment when when we are offline i can tell us some encounters i had about the city of abuja and some things that god wants to be done urgently so there's a major assignment that he wants us to accomplish in the city of abuja we'll deploy manpower because of how the heart of jesus was panting about that assignment we'll deploy manpower resources financial resources set up anything we need to set up spend anything we need to spend to ensure that that errand is met the sense of urgency with which the lord cried out was intense so we're going to attend to that urgent assignment in the city of abuja hallelujah somebody is asking a question see does that mean that the headquarters are moved to abuja this is the headquarters okay we are not moving anything we're just saying that there's an urgent assignment. Is that clear? There's an urgent assignment. And that assignment, that assignment, hey, Jesus wept. So we're going to deploy resources to ensure that we accomplish. He said judgment of all forms will be meted out on falsehood in the house of God. All forms of infiltration in the body of Christ in terms of deceptions and cover-ups will be exposed so I'm saying that in the, from the next few weeks we're in January before January ends you will start hearing news of several cover-ups that they have people in church have successfully <laughs> done for several years that will explode just watch it the reason why this is happening is because there is a new era that god has initiated and the first impact the first recipient of this new policy that heaven has decided to adopt is going to be in the house of god you are going to hear terrific news the social media the internet the news houses huh. a lot of things will come up but i will not go more than that it says in keeping with this judgment some ministers will lose their voices some will be overtaken by strange illnesses some will be called home some ministries will scatter some will experience heavy breakaways while others will close completely number two fresh promotions have been concluded in heaven concerning those that have been faithful to the call of jesus one of the parameters with which or by which you will know such men that have been promoted is that their scope of influence and their capacity to carry God's authority will be on the rise. The Lord also said that some new voices will begin to emerge. He said the demarcation between light and darkness will so greatly increase that it will become easy to know who is in the Lord's service and who is using the Lord's name as a cover up to service himself. 
He also said that there will be higher demands of consecration required for accurate ministers in this season. Number five, he says, revivals and supernatural conversions will be seen in northern Nigeria. Unexplainable conversions. People that uh, were in other religions, very devoted people in other religions, you will see them come out and they will not be ashamed to declare their newfound faith. You will see those kind of stuff um, this year. Uh, I could also see that some form of revival began and there is a part of Koki State that came under the influence of a great awakening. The Lord began to speak to me as I went to seek his face concerning what the future holds. And he called a couple of years beginning from 2024 the era of righteousness. I will take some time to explain what he means by the era of righteousness. Because the Bible says that in his days shall the righteous flourish. I know what it means when you decide to be a righteous man in an office that is heavily laden with corruption. They will move you around to postings that are not lucrative. Postings that will cover your potential. You are likely to become a victim just because you have decided to subscribe to righteousness in a regime of corruption and of darkness but the bible is saying that in the day in his days the righteous shall flourish the only circumstances under which the righteous man will flourish within the context of society is when an era of righteousness begins and in this era of righteousness that i speak about for many of you that are conversant with Elti's prophecy, he told the prophetic story of Nigeria that the season of corruption was going to hit the nation and Nigeria was going to be known as the corruption capital of the world. We still hold that record after many years. Nigeria has two records. We are the religious capital, the most religious nation and also we are the corruption capital of the world and i'm wondering how those two things can be in one boat but the lord will give us understanding in the name of jesus christ then piloting said that an era of righteousness was going to break forth and nigeria will begin to go the path of ordained destiny and the righteousness that will beam out of this nation will become something that will be globally acclaimed. And God through this nation will fulfill her apostolic destiny. So I just came to announce to you that that era of righteousness, it begins from this moment, 2024. Thank you for watching this message all the way to the end. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to speed on power-packed messages from the Spirit of God. Liking and subscribing to this channel will also help this message spread to more people and which will increase the chances of breaking strongholds in the life of a lot of people all around the world. So you see why it is very important to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification. God bless you. Watch the videos displayed on your screen right now because they will greatly impact your life positively. God bless you.